What's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mods 8. Guys, we got some fun things planned for today. Like, first of all, we're gonna be getting into power reactors. Yes, guys, today is the day that we are totally upgrading our power system, finally. Like, we're gonna be generating a lot of power. So, we need, we need to make this dielectric paste. Um, we should have a decent amount of it that we can craft. Yeah, we don't need that many blaze rods uh, or blaze powder. Sorry, we have a couple of blaze rods. We also have a blaze farm that we can utilize. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna make as much of this as we possibly can. Um, yep, we're at a blaze powder again, though I do believe we have quite a bit of that stuff. Yeah, we have over 1500 of the paste. So I don't think we'll be needing that for the rest of today. Uh, we do need to make a little bit of the redstone. Actually, I don't believe we need this much redstone in block form, um, <laughs> but we'll make as much as we can. Uh, so we have a lot of things of these guys that we can actually craft up. So that's pretty good uh, basic capacitors there. Um, and so, yes, now we need to make a couple of these guys, uh, which is going to utilize more iron bar or more iron to make iron bars. Um, again, because we have so much, we can kind of do this. So we'll do a couple stacks of these. Uh, and I believe if you just put these back in the crafting window, yeah, you can do that. So now we have them a 50 50 split of all of those. So we can make a couple of these guys, a full stack of these guys. That's awesome. Cool, so let's see here, let's get into at power. Let's get here. Um, I don't know, I clicked that, we need this guy. So this guy's gonna require um, energy cell. Is that what we need? Yeah, we're just gonna do the basic. We don't need to do the starter one. We're just gonna jump right into the basic here. Um, I don't know if that's it. Ah, here it is, the reactor. My bad, sorry about that. Uh, I was missing a beat, but we do need to do this guy, but we don't have any uranite because all of our uranite is in raw form. So we need to take this stuff here, and if we look at the uses, we can just smelt it. Um, but if we get into energizing it, like I wanna do, we can get two for one. So let's see, do we need to have any in order to make these? No, we do not. Cool, so I'll make 16 of those. And then, yeah, one, two, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have a total of four of those guys out and around. And then we can make one of these as well. Beautiful, okay. So I believe that we're gonna kinda make like mechanism here. And I'm just breaking this. We don't really need the middle one broken. We're gonna run cables to all of these. Oops. Perfect. Perfect. Practically perfect. There we go. And then we'll bring these cables up and place these on top. Beautiful. So now if we take the raw uranite. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So we can uh, actually automate this. Um, see, do we have a like a distinct... And dust like an industrial hopper where we can control factory hopper. This is the guy. So we should be able to control the rate at which this goes in. Okay, that's too fast. Need to slow the roll, my guy. Good. Okay, so then what we do is we get a pipe here. Well, we actually need to upgrade this to the next tier, which we can do. Very good. We have an item pipe, and then we have a drawer. Whoops. Yep, you know, this will actually work. We can just do this, and then we can do this, and there we go. Cool. So, we're just... Um, Okay, so we have officially automated uh, uranite production here. We're getting two for one. 
Um, so yeah, it's working pretty good. We can go ahead and increase the speed just a little bit. Yeah, so this is working pretty good. I'm gonna go AFK here for a little bit, let all the urinite process, and we're doubling our urinite or our production, so that's great. Okay, so we've had a bit of these guys process up here to the point where I believe we can kind of move forward. Um, that's the basic cell again. I almost made the same mistake. It does hold power, I do believe, but that's okay, we don't need it. All right, so we need, what are we needing here? Ah, we need the basics, okay. So, our capacitors are too powerful, so we need to have them go down. That That is okay. They are small and they are cute. Anyway, where did those go? Again, I did it. I need to get that out of here. <laughs> okay, reactor. There we go. Okay, I believe it's 28 that we need. Ah, we need eight more. So we need a total of 36. And it builds. Okay, good. We're actually not gonna do a lot here. Like this is cool and all. Yep, we'll put the water bucket in there. I have one on me, but we're gonna try to upgrade this as quick as we can. So next tier uh, is the basic. This should produce quite a bit, I think four times the power. What are we missing? We need these guys, so we need to double them up. Perfect, so we need a total of 36 of these dudes. Beautiful, okay, second tier, good to go. Now, right now we need the third tier, and this is where it gets a little interesting. We need to make these energized steel, and to do that we combine iron and gold. Um, so we're actually gonna go ahead and make a second setup of this so that we can uh, hopefully work on automating it. Um, I believe we can do this if we use two factory hoppers. Um, this should work for us. Um, yeah, so we need to just set up one of those again. Factory hopper, so we're gonna get two of these guys. All right, we're at our normal hoppers, that's okay. Cool, so second factory hopper here. Uh, and then we need one more of these guys, and then two, three, four of these guys. Perfect. Uh, sorry, mechanism setup. You're gonna have to go for now. Okay, so I made. I just. I kind of skipped ahead a little bit in the building process, like so. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pipe wrench, put this here. I made a second. This guy, and so we can whitelist these guys for only being taken out here uh, and then all we have to do is just put these two in here yep and so that's working yep we've now automated energized steel and it does work with the others the other thing too is that this um, energizing rod is being used for this one over here, which is okay. I assume after this is done, it will return to kind of this one. So it will be a little bit quicker. But yeah, we were doing really well. Um, I just got to load these up with the resources. And we'll be off to the races. I can go AFK here for maybe 30 minutes or so and come back and we'll see how much of these we have. All right, so we should have quite a bit of these are enough to upgrade all of ours to the next tier, but we do need to craft a couple of these guys. Okay, and so let me see, is that enough for nine of these? No. We need four more. Yeah, eight more, okay. So, here we go, make those, and that should be the final amount. Beautiful, okay. So we have all of the uh, hardened reactors here. Now we need to see about upgrading these guys to the second tier. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take all these, because these guys aren't working currently. We'll take these and we'll upgrade these ones first, and then we'll replace them right away. So here we go. So those have been replaced. Um, 
So we'll break this one. We'll place this guy. Break this one and place this guy. We'll break this one. Replace this guy. And there we go. So all those have been upgraded. And now we can upgrade. Oh, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. We just need to do it better. All right, we got some more of these. So now we need to see about upgrading these to the next tier as well. All right, so those have all been upgraded up to the hardened tier, which is awesome. Uh, but then the next tier above is going to require some blazing capacitors, which I do believe we hit our limit here. Yeah, because I just don't have enough blaze rods yet. We're kind of low on them. So we're going to have to kind of stop here for today. But now we get to set up the whole area for the new power reactor. Okay, so this is where we are going to be putting the reactor. So let's go ahead and put it down. Yes. It's going to look pretty nice, you know, being kind of embedded in the wall a little bit. I figured we could also mine these out. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this here. We'll click it with the bucket, put the water in there. Now you guys can't get mad at me if you're not having it, which is good. So we'll grab some of these. We'll grab some redstone blocks. We'll make some coal blocks. Um, and then the only thing we're kind of missing is ice. Um, so yeah, let's see. Redstone goes in, coal block goes in, uranite goes in. Yeah, oh, this is working. Um, well, I guess it's generating power. We're generating 2,000 per tick. Uh, we need a way to make ice real quick. Uh, and that is what I wanted to do now. Um, so normal ice. Yeah, compressing a compressor. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make this guy real quick. Um, wait. Okay, so it found some snow from a uh, snowy slopes biome. I just used the nature's compass to go find one here real quick. Uh, but yes, we have to make these guys, which is just smelting iron. It's really simple. If I remember correctly, I was able to do this one really spliggity quick. Yeah, come on, furnace. You can do it. Alrighty, that should be quite a bit of the industrial grade metal. So what we're gonna do now is make the middle guy. Okay, so that's gonna use up a little bit more. So we are gonna need a couple more pieces. That recipe seems to lag me a bit. There we go, machine boy. And then we need this dude, which means we need this dude, which means we need pink, or slime cooked. Okay, we should have a bit of slime, very good. We do need this for other recipes, but we will settle for this right meow. All right, and put those in there. And then we just need a couple of these. I think we need six total. Yeah. There's number six. So we're gonna take little copper do we even have any raw copper we might not might need to process up some copper real quick cool there we go we have some copper now we've also uh, got the rubber in here so we can make these amazing now we just got this guy left and booyah and booyah perfect FTB industrial contractions all right, now we need to get a generator here. All right, so here we go. We gotta have basic generator. Um, so we need some more of these, good. All right, there's the LV battery. And then we just need one of these guys. And boom, now we can generate power and we can make ice. Perfection. So I think we'll put these right here. The generator generates like so, fills this up. Oh, we're gonna do is throw some snowballs in there and these will get compressed into ice 
And once we have four of them, we can make ice seeds, which will then again allow us to automate this guy. Okay, so we have eight total ice. So what I wanna go ahead and do is make some ice seeds. So these are just gonna require inferium. So we have a bunch of inferium. There we go. Oh, come on. All right, and we're gonna make two sets of seeds. Very good. All right, so here we go, prosperity seed. That's working. Perfect, ice seeds. All right, and the second ones are made. So one thing is we need to sleep so all the rain goes away. Cool, with the rain disappearing, I can feel our frame rate returning. <laughs> all right, so we need to make a couple of garden cloches. Uh, we're gonna utilize two right now just for the, um, the ice seeds here. We don't actually need any more snowballs, which is awesome. Um, and then we need some pipe like so and yes we have more okay so i do think it is time to start our second uh tier of garden cloches here which is awesome second tier of garden cloches here that rhymed that was pretty lit okay so we're gonna expand this out just a tad and this will allow us to build a lot more seeds over here because we are going to need to actually make even more today that involve those guys. So we're going to break this guy here. And these are going to be our ice seeds. So we do need to get a couple things. One, we need some more energy cable. We need some more of these cables, item cables. And we need some more fluid pipe. Good. So we have all of those. That's uh, really, really good and super duper neato. So let's go ahead and start building. Oh, so. All right. So we're going to break this block, this block. All right. So just for now, we're going to run the energy cables. Um, We're going to actually, oop, those broke fast. We're going to run these back here. like so and then we're gonna run fluid cables all the way up here and over all right and then we're gonna run item uh, pipes right next here and they'll come up by one and we'll go up over over oh these need to be placed the opposite way Okay, so these are placed this direction. So now these pipes will connect and we can just pull right out. So these ones are good to go actually. All we need to do is add in the seeds. And oh, we have the second tier boys. So we'll go ahead and put these in. So this will go here. And then we'll do one seed and then boom, boom. So these are now online and working greatly. Um, yeah, so we need to now do our other ones. So we need to get a couple more garden cloches, which is perfectly okay. Okay, so I added another 11 cloches up here. And if you're wondering how we're gonna make this look good, well, we're gonna kind of change this up. We'll actually probably put one there. Um, but then we're also just gonna run the cable down, or the, that guy down, and we're probably gonna extend this out by one block, or we'll just put trap doors in front, which I think will actually look a lot better, and we don't have to stick them out by a full block. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, are there any good looking trap doors? Yeah, we can just do the spruce ones. We don't even have any spruce trees. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. We'll do that later. So we can put the spruce tree ones uh there so we don't have to worry too much about them um but yeah these ones are going with ice oh the item pipes doesn't don't go anywhere oh i forgot to do that okay 
That makes sense why it's acting a little funky. Cool beans. So, we have to be able to get the items down to the system. And that requires two more pipe. Two more pipe. Good. Very good. Okay, and they should be here anytime. Yeah, they're not in there anymore. Okay, we don't want to actually connect them here. We want to connect them in a different spot. One that goes into the right area of the cable. So here, there we go. That will now put them into the right spot. Good. All right, and here we go. We got some ice essence in here. Uh, so we can hit uses. Yeah, we're still selecting here, uses, and shebang. That's gonna give us packed ice, actually. Wow, I didn't realize it would give us that much. Okay, that changes quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, that's a lot of ice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be doing packed ice, which is gonna be awesome, but we need a, we need an exporter. Um, so we need to make that from from refined storage. So an exporter here, we need one of these guys. Perfect, we can make one, no problemo. And then let's make some of these. Perfect, okay. Okay, and then let's see, can we make a speed upgrade at all? Alrighty. Need to make some more quartz enriched iron, that's okay. Alright, speed upgrade. And we got it. We got one, that's good. That will be just fine. So, um, I think we're just gonna literally run it across under the ground. Um, all the way over to our ME system, or our refined storage system. Okay, so exporter here at the very front, and then we can put in here what we want. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we'll do, your night is gonna be one of them. We won't seal this up just yet. Okay, so that's exporting. So we need is redstone, coal, and packed ice, okay. So we have all of those automated except for uranite. So we can add this, this, and this. And if we check, yep, this is filling up with packed ice, very good. We can put a speed upgrade in here. That's not really a whole lot faster with a speed upgrade. Um, and yeah, all of those are good to go. So what we want to do now is we can seal this up. We can add in the speed upgrade later. Uh, but we're going to seal this up real quick. And this is going to look super clean. There we go. So this thing is good. We need a flux plug. Let's get a flux plug going. This is to add power to the system. There we go. Flux plug, this adds it to the network. All right, and we're gonna go in here. Now there is a spot directly for this. I don't know if it needs to be on it, but we're not gonna take any chances at all. We'll bypass the limit. And there we go, that is now working like a dream. So when that pulls power out, and it has, um, yeah, so that should turn on. Okay, I think that has to lower in power before it'll be used actually, which is totally okay. Um, but now we need to work on getting Uranite automated. So we are going to be doing that now. Um, Uranite, if we check here, there are Uranite seeds, and we will be making a couple of these. Uh, we have a couple of the essence. We need uh, the Uranite, where did you go? 
that's way up here. Okay, and then we need the seeds. Beautiful. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then those are going. Very good, your night seeds. Those are gonna be very handy. And we are gonna make a total of five of these seeds. All right, so there are five uranite seeds. Very, very good. Uh, we just need to make some of the farmland with it. It's a premium farmland. Here it is. Make it like this. Perfect. Okay, so now we should be able to put this in there. No problem. All right, so the uranite seeds are in fact in here. However, we do need them to kind of go on their separate own little channel because um, the crafter that we have down here is maxed out with the amount of recipes it can have. And that's totally okay. We just need to add in another one. So I'm gonna make another crafter here real fast. Very good. And then we're just gonna add it over here behind it. Uh, we can have it export to the same chest. Uh, it's just gonna have to be routed a little bit differently, which is totally okay. Um, so yeah, let's find the chest that we're actually needing to go to. Okay, so we just need it to line up over here. That's pretty simple. knock that off all right and then crafter and then we can export here perfect and then the cool thing about this is that we can just run a simple power cable right here and when this has the essence of the uranite seeds it should be good to go okay so we should have some in here yes okay now we hit uses and boom, it should be good to go. So we put this in here. Yep, and it's in our system. And we have now automated everything for power reactors. They're all automated. It's all good to go. We've done it. We've officially done it. It's complete. No need to worry about it. It will always be done. We have automated system for power. It always will give us power. Now we're only generating, it says 1.5. We'll generate some more when it activates, but yeah, it's freaking awesome, dudes. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the live stream later today. Yep, that's right, it's Friday. We're gonna be live streaming some Stone Block 3, so I hope to see you all there. Anyways, see you then. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.